So before is starting uh, the session, uh, let's talk about the knowledge etiquettes right now. So first of all, punctuality. So join the session five minutes prior to the session uh, so that we can start on time and we can conclude on time, okay? And second thing, very important, like give us the feedback, right? Uh, make sure to submit a constructive feedback for all session as it is very helpful for the presenters. And the third point is uh, silent mood. Keep your mobile devices in silent mood. Feel free to move out of session in case you need to attend any urgent call. Disturbance, very important, okay? Avoid unwanted chit chat during the sessions, okay? So I hope you all know the agenda of this uh, uh, session. So today we will be talking about the capabilities of Elasticsearch. So today what we are going to, uh, uh, what we are going to uh, like attend in this uh, session. So here we will be talking about the introduction of Elasticsearch. What is Elastic Stack, basic architecture and use cases and how we are going to ingest data in Elasticsearch. And again, we are going to uh, uh, learn about query DSLs, uh, what are query DSLs, how we are going to use in our Elasticsearch, and how we are going to maintain the performance and scalability in, uh, in Elasticsearch. And last but not, but not the least, uh, we are going to see a, a demo. Little demo, actually, we, are, we, are, we have a little time, so won't be able to do the much demo here. So let's start with the introduction part. So what is Elasticsearch? Let's go with that definition first. Uh, so Elasticsearch is a powerful and open source search and analytics engine built on top of Apache solutions. So let me uh, tell you one more thing that it is written in a Java only. It is designed to handle large amount of data and is uh, search and analysis. Elasticsearch is a part of uh, Elastic Stack, which also in, uh, includes Logstack, Hibana, and Bits. So the, uh, you might have, if, if uh, any of you have searched about Elasticsearch, the first point you will see that it is primarily used for full text search, but it is capable of handling various type of structure and unstructured data. So let's talk about a uh, little more about this. Uh, so, so let me give you the okay. So it's often used for enabling search functionalities for applications. Okay, whenever got some search functionality in our applications, we generally go for Elasticsearch because it provides a powerful tool to uh, enable us searching. For example, you might have a blog or a web shop for which you want user to able to uh, search for various kind of data, right? That might be uh, anything like blog post, uh, products, categories, or anything you want. So with the help of Elasticsearch, we can build a complex search functionality, uh, okay? Similar to what you see in the Google right now, uh, where you get some uh, auto-completion and correcting typos, uh, if there is any. So this all can be uh, done with the help of So uh, let's talk about one uh, few more thing about Elasticsearch. So suppose we want to implement search, uh, searching for web shop, right? So besides searching through product names, uh, other full text fields, uh, we might want to take uh, a number of factors into account when shorting, uh, shorting the results, okay? So if the product have a rating, uh, we, uh, we, we probably want to boost the relevance of uh, highly uh, rated products, right? So we also might want to allow user to filter results such as um, price, range, brand, size, or color. Right. There, there might be many other uh, scenarios where we can go for filtering and to short by prices or relevance uh, relevance. Uh, we can do that with the help of uh, uh, Elasticsearch. Basically, Elasticsearch can do everything you want. Uh, you want to need a, a powerful search engine. So <clears throat> full text search is not the only things uh, uh, Elasticsearch can do. Uh, you can also query structured data such as numbers and aggregate data and uh, use Elasticsearch as a platform uh, to do the analytics part also. Uh, you can write a queries that aggregate the data and use the results uh, for making pie charts, line charts, and whatever you, uh, you might be needing uh, at that time. Elasticsearch is not uh, really a business intelligence solution, uh, but you can uh, you can indeed get a lot of valuable information out of the data that you stored within Elasticsearch. So, 
uh, if I talk about some examples, how you can use that uh, Elasticsearch uh, in the business intelligence. So uh, uh, you, you you would be storing the logs from our application, uh, from various serv uh, server systems, uh, metrics, and then analyzing these uh, these uh, uh, probes with the uh, with alerting setup. So you want some uh, you want to do some alerting when our application is down or up uh, or this things you can do with the help of Elasticsearch, with the help of business intelligence. You you might want to keep track of a number of errors of your web, web application, right? Or CPU, uh, CPU usage or memory usage. Uh, then uh, to show that uh, in some uh, graphical manner also, you can use that uh, data from Elasticsearch in a uh, graphical pattern, okay? So, Basically, we can use APM uh, like APM. Uh, we know app, uh, APM is application performance management. Uh, so we can use APM uh, tools to uh, see the data in Elasticsearch and we can visualize. So I guess we have covered a lot of things about uh, introduction of the uh, Elasticsearch. So let's go uh, the next slide. So let's see how what all companies are using this Elasticsearch right now. We I have I have mentioned only a few of them. So you can see uh, Quora, Wink Media, GitHub, Facebook, Adobe, Netflix, Mozilla, Stack Exchange, Voice Square, SoundCloud, Stumble Upon. Uh, uh, these are uh, currently using, and there are many more are using right now. But I have chosen some of them so that uh, we have <laughs> like you know. So let's go for basic architecture. Fast or what? Is it correct, right? I'm not going fast. Hello? Okay. Let's go on the basic architecture. Before uh, going for architecture, we need to know a few things like um, what all, what are, what is cluster, what is node, what is index, and what is shard, what is document. So cluster, in a, a common manner, we can say cluster is a, a collection of nodes. So if I go to the definitions of cluster, a cluster is a collection of nodes that works together and share the same cluster name. Nodes within a cluster communicate and cooperate to distribute data, manage, uh, data, manage cluster state and handle queries. What is node? So node, node is nothing but a instance of Elasticsearch, single instance of a Elasticsearch. So, a node is a single instance of Elasticsearch running on a physical or virtual machine. Nodes are the basic building blocks of Elasticsearch cluster. So nodes can be defined as it, it's a separate elast, uh, elastic instance, which is running sep, uh, in a single uh, in a physical or a virtual machines. So and uh, or we can say this elastic server is running in a physical or virtual. This is very important in Elasticsearch. An index is a logical collection of documents with similar characteristics or data type. For example, you might have an index for storing user data and another uh, for storing product information. Okay, so if I talk about like, let me correlate these things with some SQL database because uh, most of us might be knowing the SQL database. So in SQL, like uh, document, a uh, document is nothing but a row in a SQL. You you might have seen a row in a SQL. So row defines the document like the data, and field uh, in the document defines the columns in the SQL. And index is nothing but the table name. Uh, so this is just to understand. So, and uh, let's go for the shard. Shard a shard is an engine self-contained unit of an index that holds a sub subset of an index data. Elasticsearch distributes shared across nodes to enable horizontal scaling and efficient data retrievals. Shards. So, shards is nothing. Uh, a sh uh, index can have multiple shards. And shards have millions of data or documents. So, shards is nothing but we are dividing uh, the 
memory log let's say we have a 600 gb of data but uh, our instance is uh, like our node is uh, supporting only 5 500 gb or 300 gb so sharding help us to distribute the documents among those like to so that we can uh, so that we can retrieve the data efficiently from them and document is nothing but a json uh, object represents representing a piece of data stored in a in an index so let's say uh, let's understand this diagram it will be very easy like uh, as we know we all know what is cluster node index uh, and document so cluster is a combination of nodes there can be a multiple clusters and a cluster can have multiple nodes uh, in general way a cluster have only one nodes because elastic search has a much facility like if you have not very much of data not much volume of data you can add in a single cluster only. but if you want to differentiate like uh, this cluster will be using for searching and uh, uh, searching part and different cluster can use for apim work or different cluster can if you want to differentiate the cluster according to the work so we can definitely go for a differentiate the cluster but generally a cluster have only one nodes for now and you see cluster have multiple nodes and one nodes have multiple shards and in shards we have multiple documents like million of documents can be shaped uh, inside one shards and these shards are nothing but in a index mode index is nothing but uh, it's going to identify it's i told you like index is nothing but a table name so to identify the documents these shards are maintained like shard will be maintaining with the help of uh, the indexes only so any question in this so we can move forward and in elastic search uh, documents are saved in the json format okay let's talk about uh, what is elastic stack so elastic stack uh, so let's talk about elastic stack the elastic stack formerly known as elk stack is a collection of open source tools designed for searching analyzing and visualizing data it is widely used for log and event data analysis monitoring and various other data analytics so you can understand elastic stack as a combination of multiple different uh, services of elastic it come under the elastic stack itself like it elastic set itself comes under the elastic stack log stack kibana and beats and there is one more that is x pack i haven't covered this here but we will go for this uh, these four things like the elastic search log stack kibana and beats so let's search let's uh, let us know what is elastic search log stack kibana and beats so I have already described what the elastic search let me repeat again so elastic search is a distributed search and engine that stores data in a json format it provides powerful search and analytics capability making it the core component of the elastic stack so you can uh, see uh, it is written that it is a core component of elastic stack this is a main part of the elastic stack and second, the log stack, uh, log stack, nothing. Uh, log stack is a data processing pipeline that ingests and process and transform data before sending it to Elastic Search. It is often used for collecting and parsing log data from various sources such as application logs, system logs, and network logs. Third one is Kibana. Kibana uh, is uh, used for visualization actually. Kibana is a web based visualization tools that allow users to interact with the with an explore data stored in Elasticsearch. It provides a user-friendly inter interface for creating dashboard, visualization, and performing ad hoc queries. Kibana is an essential component for monitoring and visualizing data in real time. So Kibana is used for a visualization, like you can send data with the, uh, from Elasticsearch to Kibana, and in Kibana you can visualize, you can create cut chart, or you can get graphs according to your needs yeah you can uh, even uh, you can see the logs in the kibana also yeah <clears throat> and what are beats beats are lightweight data shippers that send data from different sources to the either elastic or log stack 
bits are nothing but this is like a this is working as a shippers like uh, from one place how we can transport data from one place to another place so for that we can use bits if we come under it come under the elk only okay so let's go for let's see uh, we have learned many thing like uh, what is elastic stack what is uh, basic architecture and what is uh what is uh, introduction about the elastic search so let's see about what is the use of elastic search how we can use elastic search so let's talk about the use cases here so first in website application search we can use elastic search here also like implementing a fast and efficient search functionality on a website or applications if let's say we have a, a website which is only going to use uh, a search functionality or it is very frequently we are going to uh, search on that application that web application so we can definitely go for elastic search and elastic search enables a full text search uh, i have already told this and auto complete suggestion or facet search we can do in this also so in that scenario like web, uh, website and application search we can use elastic search Second, log and event data analysis. We can also go for elastic search when we want to analyze the log. And here also analyzing and searching through log files generated by application servers and network devices. Elastic search excels in handling large volume of data. We know when, when, whenever we are going to handle large volume of data, elastic search. So in those scenario, also we can, as we know, logs and data, event data can be uh, like push. so in that scenario also we can go for elastic search and provide real time insights uh, and troubleshooting capabilities here business intelligence i have already told that we can visualize or we can use those uh, elastic search to visualize or make some alerts with the patterns if it is not working as expected so st storing and querying large data set for business intelligence and analytics purpose elasticsearch can handle structure and unstructured data making it suitable for complex query and analysis and we also we can also use elasticsearch for monitoring and alerting monitoring the health and performance of system application and infrastructure in real time elasticsearch when used in conjunction with tools like beats on kibana forms a powerful monitoring and alerting tool we can do we can go other tools or we have other tools also uh, in spite of beats and kibana also to do the monitoring here which can be integrated with elastic search security information and event management uh, we can do with the help of elastic search like centralizing and analyzing security related data including logs alerts and events Elastic is a key component in building SIEME solution for threat detection and response. Content and documents, uh, document management. We can also use uh, to maintain the searching and searching through large repositories of documents or content for full text search, document retrieval and supports complex queries, making it valuable for content management system. And we, we have a uh, few more, like I have covered a couple of them, but there is a lot to cover. Like the, if we, we talk about the use cases, so in e-commerce search and recommendations, we can use enhancing, enhancing the search experience in e-commerce platform by providing relevant and fast search results. Elastic search can also be used for building recommendations engine based on uh, user behavior and preferences geospatial data analysis because geospatial data is, are in a volume like a large volume so there also we can use analyzing and searching through geospatial data such as location and coordinates <coughs> elastic search support geospatial uh, series uh, queries making it suitable for application involved mapping geolocation based service and spatial analysis Healthcare data also we can uh, we can use uh, in searching of health data, uh, indexing and searching through vast amount of health data, including electronic health records, EHSR, and medical documents. Elasticsearch enables quick retrieval of uh, retrieval of relevant medical information. 
and social media monitoring also like yes tracing and analyzing social media data for sentimental analysis trend identification and brand monitoring elasticsearch can provide us indexing large amount of social media data in a real time exploration and visualization uh, i have already talked about this uh, but uh, building support and visualization for exploring and understanding a large data set kibana when integrated with elasticsearch facilitated data exploration and visualization here uh, we have already talked about this and data integration and enrichments so integrating data from multiple sources enriching it making it searchable log stacks and component of log uh, elasticsearch stack is often used for data integration and transformation so <clears throat> these are the uses a uh, use case a few of the use cases of elasticsearch we have uh, many more but uh, i have covered few of them so let's talk about how we can ingest data uh, in elasticsearch so for data ingestion we have mainly uh, six ways we can do that first one is elasticsearch api which i will be showing in the demo part also how we can do with the help of elasticsearch apis so in elasticsearch provides a restful api we all know what is restful api that allow you to interact with the cluster using http request use the index api to manually index individual documents or the bulk api to index multiple documents in a single request this method is suitable for small scale data ingestion or when dealing with data that is generated on demand the second one uh, this is log stack log stack is generally part of elk only but there are other tools also which can be used to ingest data in elasticsearch stack because it is a part of elk only so how logistic works so logistic is a powerful data processing pipeline we have already discussed that can ingest data from multiple sources transform it and send it to elasticsearch it support a wide range of input plugins like file input bit input jdbc input filter plugin example zrock mutate and output plugin like elasticsearch kafka and the third one is bits uh, i told you the bit is a uh, used for transporting data like okay so bits are lightweight data receivers designed to send data from various sources of to elasticsearch or logistic different bits are available uh, there are multi, uh, like couple of bits here like uh, uh, which are available so in in that like there is a file bits for log well log files we can use file bits to send the log files metric bit for system matrices packet uh, packet bits for network data and there is uh, many more uh, regarding that like there is many types of and the uh, fourth one is we can use elasticsearch hadoop so alas you know hadoop is used for uh, uh, large volume of so elasticsearch hadoop is a connector that allows you to integrate elasticsearch with apache hadoop and other big data processing frameworks this is for ingesting and analyzing large data set stored in hadoop so and there is a one native integration so what is native integration so some application and systems offer native integration with elasticsearch for example data set, databases like mongodb and mysql can use connectors or plugins to push data directly to uh, directly to elasticsearch uh third party tools uh, what we what we have is uh, several third party tools and connectors available that facilitate data ingestion into elasticsearch these tools might offer additional features or specialization functionality for specific use cases so these are the ways we can uh, ingest data in a uh, elasticsearch so now we have talked about how we can ingest data what are the use cases let's talk little technical here like uh, 
query dsl we have uh, we have to talk like what is why we use query dsl like if we want to query some complex query like we know that elasticity use for querying like uh, to search functional provide some search functionality so while searching there might be a scenario like we want to search with multiple uh, filters so in elastic search as we know, it's it it is used with the help of rest api right so how we can provide a uh, filters in a rest uh, full api so for that we are going to use a query dsl here so what is query dsl uh, query dsl is a domain specific language in elastic search is a powerful and expensive language used to construct queries for searching and retrieving data from an elastic search cluster so i told you that this is a used to construct a queries for searching and retrieving data from elastic if we have a some complex query we can construct by using query dsl it allows user to define complex queries and filters making it possible to retrieve specific documents that match certain criteria so query dsl help us to uh, query with a complex queries which makes us to find the right document or right data from the elastic search which we are required so for that scenario we are we are going going with the query dsl query dsl is a json based syntax that enables a wide range of search functionality so for that we have um, uh, here, so here we have some components with uh, query dsl so you can see the first one is match query so we define that query is match query so what does match query do uh, match query is a type of query that is used for uh, used to search for terms or phrases in a specified field it performs full text search on a specified field like if you want to search uh, like uh, in the document which matches that query so then we go for match query and what is, and the second one is term query term query <coughs> is a context of search engine and specifically uh, is a type of query used to find document that contains an exact terms in a specified field i will show like uh, in this uh, match query if we send uh, like it is not uh, it it see the contents only it doesn't see whether it is in capital or small but in terms query we are going to see that whatever we have searched if that meets exactly then only it will return a value bool query by the name only we can see uh, we can uh, understand bool query is uh, used to uh, allow you to combine multiple queries together using boolean logics right so where we have to use some boolean logic so then we go for bool queries so and the third, fourth one is match phrases um, so if we have like multiple uh, long line so we want that this should be in a sequence only in which we are searching so in that scenario we go for match phrases like that uh, if we want to search a document that contain an exact sequence of word in a specified field so in that scenario we go for match phrase query and range query like uh, so match range is in itself we saying we want to find something in a between the range like we want to uh, search a uh, document like let's say we have a uh, two dates we want to search a data in between those two uh, two dates in that scenario we are go, uh, we will go through range query and uh, one two three four five six six one is wild card okay wild card query so wild card is nothing but uh, if you want to search with some uh, patterns uh, pattern uh, we want to see some uh, we want to search with the with some patterns uh, rather than exact terms so then we go for wild card query and uh, last uh, the, this is nested query <laughs> if we want to search some uh, uh, if we want to to search a field uh, with the multiple array uh, objects so in that scenario we go for the 
if we have a nested goal like document inside document like is, if we have a property inside property so in those scenario we are going with nested query and the last one is fuzzy query it is nothing but if we want to uh, search like approximately matching like it is not matching exactly but it it matches some some something is matching in that so in that scenario we go for fuzzy query <coughs> So we have talked a lot about this query DSL and out. So let's say if we are going, so we know that um, we are going to use Elasticsearch when we are going to handle a large volume of data. Okay. So in that scenario, we must be keeping in mind how, uh, about the performance and the scalability of uh, Elasticsearch because we are going to handle of data. So how we can, uh, maintain the performance and scalability uh, in performance of a uh, uh, elastic search let's see so performance uh, let's talk about what is performance and elastic scalability performance and scalability are critical consideration when designing an elastic search cluster especially for handling large volume of data supporting high query loads so i told you that if we are going to handle a large volume of data and uh, it is going to handle a large query volumes also query loads also so we must be uh, have some factors and strategies to optimize the performance and scalability in the elastic cell. so first of all hardware should hardware and infrastructure should be good like and the second one is cluster configuration cluster i told you con cluster configuration like just uh, differentiate the cluster according to their use like if we are using one thing for collecting a logs we should separate that cluster if we are going to use for apm integration so we can separate that cluster if we want the data to be saved and to be retrieved so we can separate that cluster so in this way we can um, uh, we can uh, increase the performance as well sharding i told you like uh, sharding help us in keeping the document distributed and it helps in deriving the data from the uh, node. And query performance, we should uh, use a proper query to uh, query the data. Caching also we can use. Monitoring and logging, like uh, we can, uh, with the help of monitoring and logging, we can identify where we, uh, where the what is the issue with that, why it is not performing as expected. Tuning the JVM settings. So I told you that uh, this uh, Elasticsearch is written in a um, uh, in a Java itself. So we can uh, tune the JVM setting. Like we can increase the heap memory and all. Like there are multiple settings we can do of of our Elasticsearch. Data archiving and life cycle uh, life cycle policies. We can maintain like data archiving. Nothing but if we we have a very old data which we never going to use we can archive the data so that uh, less is not going to search on those uh, data. So basically, definitely it is going to increase the performance and we can go for horizontal scaling and then we can go for network secure, network and security to perform it well. So, <coughs> sorry, we have done, we have done, uh, we have done uh, so much of theory. So let's go for demo. So in demo, uh, uh, let me share uh, in my screen visible. Right. So I have already written the code so that we, because I know we had, we don't have that much of time. So so let me run the Docker so that it will up the Elastic Search for us. So, Elasticsearch is a RESTful, a, 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 it's communicated with the help of RESTful, right? So, let's see the, the first one, how this works. So, let's say it is directly connected. My application is running on, uh, running on 9200, and we can see the status. It is running, okay? And, to insert the data, so we can use uh, this has provided some endpoints which we can use to insert data. We can uh, we can fetch the data, 
all the endpoints are provided by Elasticsearch. So let's say uh, I want to insert one data. Let's say demo, demo, hello. Okay, so I'm just going to insert. To insert this data, we have the we have to provide this as a index, index name and the document. This is a predefined. And so, and we need the header which explains that this is application.json and body. This is a body which we want to save in the Elasticsearch. So we provide this body, and we can simply send this, and it will be saved. There. Total two successful one. Okay, and if we want to search it all, let's let's say we have we want to see uh, what all data are available in Elasticsearch. So if we are using this underscore search, so it will show us all the all the documents which are stored in the Elasticsearch. Let's let us hit this endpoint. So you see, we have hits, and this is a document how. Lastly, of serves like un inside underscore source, all our data is saved. This class is because we are saving from our Java application, so it is different. So what I have saved, let me show you. This is the demo part which I have saved currently, right? The last request which I have. So inside source, our first name, last name, age, city is stored. This is index type ID scores. These are maintained by the Elasticsearch itself. These are the metadata. Our our data will be saved with uh, data plus metadata, which is uh, by Elasticsearch itself. So I have uh, these. These are the things like we can search uh, like this. With the if we want to search directly from our Elasticsearch, we can use this endpoint. This might be changing according to yours. So with the help of search, we can pass the data. OK, and we have learned about. Uh, we have seen about what is query DSL. Let's say let's see match query we have learned. So for match query, we are going to use this search only. But in that this is a query DSL query. We have used my, my match, right? So match is Anshuman here, right? So let's say let me hit this request. OK. So see, we have one requirement which is matching this Anshuman. Even though if I write this at capital ANSHUMN, we are still getting this now. So what we understood that this is searching the field with the contents, like it comparing the what you have passed. It is only comparing with the help of contents. So in that scenario, we are going with match query, right? And I told you regarding terms, terms, okay? Let's search about this uh, Anshuman, okay? We have this, this is exact matching. Let me just change the name Anshuman, okay? Let's see what will be the output of this, say. In term queries, we will be matching exactly what we have passed and what is available in the elastic. So in term, I hope uh, we know the difference between match and terms. Match and terms. Similarly, we have a bool query. We can have this like query underside bool. Bool should have added should match with this and match with this. I will go, I'm going to search whose name is Anshuman and this Sukla. This is a simply a match query because we are using match here. Okay, so it is not going for the, um, it, whether it is in capital or in small letters. So it will. it is going to search each document and whose first name and second uh, last name is Anshuman and Sukla, it will the volume. Similarly, we have March. We can do March, uh, uh, March match faces, match match phrase query. We have a range query where we can go for GT is nothing but the uh, equal to LTE is less than or equal to. We have wildcard. So wildcard, I I want to show you the wildcard how this pop uh, population are done. 
So let's say I want to search who uh, anything whose first name contain SH. So I will simply share, uh, send this. And we have two documents which contain SH. SH. Let's say I want to get something like E J O. So we have one item which is containing only J O. So we can use wildcard if we have a certain uh, criteria like it is not matching exactly, but it is similar to that. Nested query we go for like I told you that if a property has a property, we want to search property inside property. So in that scenario, we are we go with nested query like property tag type. Again, property name and type. So in this similar way, we can use as I don't have any properties inside property, so I cannot run this. So in this way, we can use nested query. OK, so I guess I have discussed all this match term, bool, match query and wildcard queries. So uh, now let's go with the application like uh, Spring Boot application, how we are going to uh, do the things. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'm sorry to interrupt in between, but this is a reminder that we have just three minutes left for the session. OK, 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 OK. OK, let me go a little quick. So uh, I have created this application. Uh, so we need some uh, dependencies here like Spring Boot Elasticsearch, Web, DevTool is not required, Lombok is all, uh, also not required if you want. So before that, we need to do some configuration like we want to create a instance of REST client so that our application is able to communicate with the Elasticsearch. And then we have a repository, a model class. Uh, currently, I'm providing ID, first name, last name, age. And I have a repository which is communicating with the help of Elasticsearch repository. So and for uh, DSL, query DSL, we need some uh, supplier like this is supplier like what type of supplier we want this is match all query then we have a match query which we have talked about query dsl and this is a query builders which are used to provide the queries as per the requirement so let me run this uh, query and we will be able to and we have a we have created a service uh, service also which is calling those uh, elastic uh, like this utility class to be providing the details so this uh, like match all services is going to uh, search all the documents in the service itself. It is going to search in the customer only the index whose is index will be customer and this is customer by first name. So let me run this query uh, application. The application has started on uh, 8080. So, so let's add some uh, doc, uh, customer in, in our application. So I will hit. And we see three documents have uh, already been inserted. Let's find all the documents which we have inserted. So these are the documents which we have inserted content I this 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 we have added and we 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 are getting this pageable and all so we can integrate pageable here also we have a large volume of data and let's say we are going to use this uh, match all query dsls so here i'm not providing anything right now okay so i'm just going to search who's john is here whose number name is john okay so we have this one item which is available. Anshuman, uh, sorry to interrupt again, but it's already 4.15. Okay, it's all done almost. Uh, give me one or two minutes, okay? Okay, so this is done. We can also use the first name with the help of this. Okay, so by this way it is working. So I, I will be uploading this uh, uh, on, our knowledge, on our GitHub. So anyone uh, wants to look into this, they can uh, they can have a look because uh, I know Elasticsearch is very large uh, topic, so that cannot be covered 
in this 45 minutes. Uh, I, actually, I have got many things here, just gone on a high level only. So I, I, I high hope next time I will be elaborating more on this because I know I have given you such a information that in future, if you want to go with Elasticsearch, you must have some basic knowledge and you can uh, move forward with that. Thanks, Bharti. Uh, thanks, thanks, Anshuman. Yeah. Thanks for the wonderful session. Uh, thanks, everybody, for attending the session.